But I get that. What I'm asking you, I want you to do better. And it hurts me seeing you being anything less than what I know that you can be. Do you get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. What am I saying? You're saying that you, you know that I can do very good in my stuff and you just, you just want me to be like you. I want you to be better than me. You're going to be better than me. Huh? Okay, so first, Kai, I'm sorry to do that. I, can, I know I can do it, but do, do that. Now, take it I'm sorry for doing that to you, too. Yes. Okay. Wait, no. I don't think about it. I'm not going to do that. But now, this is the other thing. No, this other hand. What? It's the right it's hand. It's the right hand, son. sports because I want to show you that you have to work hard for something. Once you work hard enough for it, then you accomplish something. And after accomplishing it, you reap the benefits of what you accomplished because you worked hard for it. But then I also want to show you, you can work hard for something, try to accomplish it, fail, and then you don't stop working hard for it. You continue to work even harder because that feeling is only your roadmap to see that, okay, I should have done this, this, and this, X, Y, Z now. So now I do that and I come back and try for it again until I accomplish it. I'm not giving up. As I, I'm not gonna give up on you, but I don't need you giving up and saying that because you have any thoughts in your head, then you have to do them. You know what I mean? 
How you doing, sir? How you doing? How you doing? Let me, let me call him right there. Um, ain't that amazing? Was it the mark? Yeah, I know. Good job. Good job, too, man. What you talking about? That's my boy. And the stuff you're doing, son, is very unbecoming of you. The stuff you're doing is, is not even worth participating in or putting yourself in. The interest that you're giving it is far too much energy for a kid your age. And I just want you to see that and just Whenever you have whatever thoughts you're having, do opposite. And well, I know I'm not supposed to do that. I know this make my dad feel bad when he's seeing what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do something that makes him happy. Happy. Do you get what I'm saying? I would just say. What am I saying? Sorry. You're saying that when your dad sees something that you're doing. You just do something else, like the opposite, to make them happy. If, I, if I'm thinking of doing something bad, I think about how my parents would see it, how my dad would see it, how they would feel about it if they, if they see me doing or feel me doing something that I shouldn't be doing. So I make sure I make better choices for myself, but then also because it's ref a direct reflection on the people that's raising me. And I'm one of the people that's raising you. And I'm trying to correct a situation that I don't know how long you've been seeing it. And it's hard. But you can make it easier for me if you stay strong when you're in the situation and either remove yourself from the situation or basically just let them somebody know. Because now I'm in a position where I'm trying to figure it out. And if I don't always get the truth from you, it's going to be hard for me to help you. You get what I'm saying? You're correct. Is that I'm correct? I know I'm correct, son. I just want to know, do you get what I'm saying? It's hard. I can't help you if you don't tell me the truth. You got me? I got you. So whenever you're nervous about something like, like uh, earlier when I was talking to you, and you start talking about your teachers instead of your mom, because you think that you're going to get in trouble. So you're not going to get in trouble. And then I'm thinking about it when you left to get a haircut. I'm like, you, when I'm punishing you, you don't cry. If you're in the push-up position or if you're on a wall sit, you don't cry. Correct. But when you start to think that your mom was going to know what you told us, you change your story 
to tell on some teachers who have done nothing to you, and I don't do that, you're about to cry. Who is it that's going to do something to you, you think? It's nobody that's going to do nobody. something to me. And do you know why? Because I'm not just going to get in trouble for it. I'm just trying to see if I'm, if I can tell the truth. Like, if I don't tell the truth, they can't help me. If they don't tell the truth, they can't help you. But also, nobody going to do nothing to you because they ain't going to let them. Do you think I would let somebody do anything to you? No, sir, you would never. Never. Never, ever. Never. Whether it's a little kid to an adult, I would never let nobody do nothing to you. A kid, I teach you how to defend yourself. Adults, you know I got your back. No matter who it is. From your mama, to your uncles, to your little cousins. Nobody would never do nothing to you. I would never put you in a position where you're not safe. And from the stuff that you told me, you're not safe. Do you think you're supposed to be drinking alcohol? No, sir. How do you know that you're not? Because that will slow down my learning and that will make my muscles stronger. It will slow down your learning. It will make your, your uh, you can't focus on lifting weights. You can't focus on working out. You can't focus on running track. You got to get over hangovers and stuff. You got to get over being temporarily sick. And then if you get addicted to it, then you're permanently sick. You don't need that. And who giving you alcohol? My mom and my sister. Exactly. So therefore, it's my job to make sure I let somebody know, regardless of the consequence that I face, because I, I'm worried about the consequences that you're going to face later on in life. If you're not able to get a job, not able to support your family, that's a problem. Let's go, Bryce, sir. Get up there, Bryson, with the groove. Let's go, get up there with the groove. There you go, go get him. They ain't doing nothing. They ain't doing nothing, go get him. Get up there. Bryson, let's go. Let's go, Bryson. Push it. Push it, open that stride up. Open that stride up, throw your arms, push it. Push it, get up there with him. You got to get up there with him. Push it, get on up there, push it, push it. Push it now. Take out, Bryson, let's go. Take out, take out, spread it in. Spread, spread, you need to be kicking. You need to be kicking hard, kick hard, kick hard, kick hard, let's kick hard, let's go. All the way in, push it all the way in. All the way. Good job, big man, good job. You working, you working. You working. Look at that man. Look at that guy. Did you run hard? <laughs> you ran good, man. You did your thing. What did you tell me you want to grow up to be? Um, I, when I grow up, I want to work nowhere so I can own my own business. Exactly. But before I taught you that, what were you saying you want to be? Before you told me that, mm -hmm. I was saying that I wanted to be a pizza worker. That's one. And what was the other one? Then the other one. The recent one that you just told me uh, beginning of this week and in the gym. When I grew up, I want to be a vet. A vet? What's a vet? A vet is when they take care of, of people that sit like. Like, they're almost like... Gotcha, but that's not what I'm asking you. You told me you wanted to grow to be something. And you had took a little girl's um, headband. Do you remember now? I remember. And I tell you, I told you to put it back. But you told him that you wanted to be something. And that's why you took it. And when I, when I um, started talking about it, what did you tell me that you wanted to be? I want it to be a thief. That's what I told you. Yes. Say it louder. You want it to be a what? I said I want it to be a thief. That's what I told you. And that was like, that was the beginning of the week. Yes, sir. That was the beginning. Exactly. And that's what I explained to you. You'll never seek to be something negative. 
That's too easy. We're glass, but we work hard for everything. So never just find the easy way out of seeing somebody else do wrong and think that's what I should be. It's too easy. Find the hard way. It's hard to own your own business. It's hard to push your own idea and get somebody else to accept that idea as being worthwhile and to uh, put money into it. That's hard. But that's what we do. We do the harder things. Because we're strong. We're men. Then we're Glasper men. You get me? You said just like Team Glasper. Just like Team Glasper. Like, like that shirt. What is it? 2018. Yeah, yeah. And on the back. Your, gra your graduation shirt. Yes, sir. When it, on the <laughs> yeah. back, is that T. Glasper? Just like that. But you can't be an honorable student, right? And Correct. striving to be a thief. Like, you're stealing something. Because what did you say you got it from? Who you know that steals? I said my sister. Which one? Maureen. Exactly. So you can't strive to be like her if she's not doing the deposit. You get know what I'm saying? You gotta do stuff positive. You gotta uplift people. You gotta, you gotta do something to make somebody else see that you're worth their time. And as long as you work somebody's time, they'll give you all the money you need to do stuff that they like. Kaka, you still wanna run? Huh? Come on, come on up and sit down. Come on up. Come on up, Kaka. Right there. Good, thank you. Can you get right here behind him for me? I appreciate you. Jackson, Gonzalez. Come on, right there for me, Jackson. Myron Brown, right here behind. There you go, love it. Tyler Robinson. There you go, you know where to go, Tyler. Bryson. Jordan. Okay, get right there behind Mr. Bryson for me. Emmanuel Harris. Boom, we're good. Can you walk your line? Because you're my line leader, okay? Can you handle that job? Okay, I want you to walk it and see. Okay, go ahead. Take that line. William. Take that line. Take that line. Hey, excuse me. Remember? step I take is to inspire him to be great. My roadmap to success is an early bird is never late. 
daily I see he watches me. And I want him to. I want him to see the man that he is supposed to be. Not knowing his presence influences me to be the man that I am supposed to be. My mini me. I love you. Be great. Moms, raise your son to be the gentleman you want in your life. And he would know how to appreciate his wife. Parents raising athletes.